Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So Solana seems to push up in five waves. So it hasn't done that yet. At the moment, the move to the upside is still in three waves, but if it goes above 1342, then we have to consider this a four, uh, sorry, a five wave structure to the upside, an impulse, and it already looks quite impulsive. But if we get that higher high, then we can consider it as a five wave move which would make me consider more bullish options for Solana. That's why you always get these levels here. If we push above them, it normally indicates a trend reversal um, and that we are not going to come down here. At the moment, yes, it has maxed out a possible wave two, which would still most likely result in a wave three, but we've pushed higher than ideal. So we have moved above the 78.6% FIB level at $13 and we seem to be holding above that level. However, to make that prospect of movements to the upside, and maybe that a low was already in for Solana, more likely, we wanna see five waves to the upside. At the moment, we have only three. So at the moment, the focus still needs to be down. That has changed for Ethereum already. I mean, for Ethereum, the focus is anyway, um, one of the, the, the possible or the likely scenarios is still high anyway. Um, but here for Solana, the main scenario was still further down because the overall context gives us a target between 640 and 760. And we need to be careful not to change those scenarios too quickly. I mean, as you know, on the lower time frame, they do change quite quickly because they are quite fragile. Markets are dynamic. Um, but I mentioned to you in a previous video that until we really get above, where are we here? above $13.90, that wave E high, which is part of the wave four, till we get above that level, we can't really focus on much more bullish counts, but if we get five waves up, we can consider it more. Um, and um, yeah, bear in mind on the way down in this five wave pattern down, we hit with 1090, one of the targets I gave you for that five wave move. Now we're turning around and if we see, as always, if we see a five wave move up off a low, then we can consider a bottom has been made. However, um, what is important then is that it holds the retracement, okay? So, let me show you. Um, for a bullish scenario to work out or for it to be considered, we now need to see five waves up. So it would be a one, a two, a three, a four, and we wanna see a fifth wave. I can also give you a target for the fifth wave if we assume the fourth wave low was in. So if we see a fifth wave, then it would need to go to, no one second, to here. Ideal target, well it doesn't need to go there, but ideal target would be $14. That would be nice because then we are also pushing above the wave E high here, yeah, which is at around $13.90. If we really get there, $14 and maybe even $14.80, it's the 1.618 extension, um, even though that would be quite a long way five, but if we get there, then it makes it very likely that in the retracement, the higher low will hold. At the moment, we only have three waves up, so it's not ideal. But yeah, this would be a five wave move up. That is what we would need to see to consider a trend reversal. And don't get me wrong, I mean, Solana needs to turn around. If it doesn't do it, it would just get deeper into trouble. Um, but then from these five waves up, we can look at um, an ABC down. This is then what would need to hold. So I'll make that a different color here. Or let's call, let's call blue the bullish count, right? It's not the primary at the moment, but it would mean that those five up, that would be a wave one. ABC down would be a wave two. And let's say we really get to $14, just to show you already and prepare you. If we get there, then we need to hold on the way down in a three wave structure, the $11.60 level. That's the absolute low we need to hold. Below that, it will make it very likely to break below $10.90 and to then come down impulsively as suggested. Yeah, so this is currently where we're at, at a key juncture here, a key decision point for Solana. Um, again, a fifth wave up, which it looks like it's doing, to be honest. 
this doesn't mean we have to jump in when we have the five waves. Absolutely not, because then you're most likely buying a local high. Here on the one hour, we now overboard. Yeah, so it's always worth, and this is no financial advice, but that's sort of what you would do historically, or no, traditionally based on the Elliott Wave method and analysis. And if you're an Elliott Wave trader, you would wait for the pullback. You can go long close to support because the trend may have, shift, may have shifted to the upside and you can buy close to support in that region that I indicated between the 78.6 and the 50% FIB level ideally. And then you can rally the way in the wave three and trade the wave three, which would be much higher. Bear in mind, just because we see five up here also doesn't mean that we are suddenly going into a bull run. It might mean that we are seeing a larger corrective pattern, but it still would mean most likely some more upside. Yeah. So it could very well be that we're going to see an extended wave four to the upside, which would still come down in a five. But the point is, if we see five waves here, we will most likely get a three wave pullback in at least one more wave five to the upside or five wave move to the upside. So very interesting to watch at the moment. Um, but again, we are now at the key decision point and we'll see a decision very soon, I think. Maybe it's the day already. Bear in mind, there's a lot of volatility expected today because the FOMC uh, meeting minutes are going to be released. Maybe not that much volatility, but it certainly could shake up the market a little bit. Okay, and that's my update about Solana. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.